As regular viewers will probably know, we've been taking part in the Odin Power Sports Suzuki-sponsored Endurance Racing Championship over the last year or so. The idea was to get Harry into his fledgling racing career. Well, guess what? Take a look at that. It's our first trophy. It's about our fifth or sixth race, and I think I'd like to recap into how we got to this point. How did we get to earn our first trophy? Well, Harry, it all started with you. It did. Tell me about, well, let's, what I want to do is show you incredibly how easy it is to get into this championship. You don't need to be an experienced racer. You don't need an incredible race bike. You just need to do what we do, which is, Harry, you'd never raced before, had you? I did, what, three races last year, and then... At a kind of club level. At a club level, and then the, we did the eight hour and the 12 hour last year, and then this year we've done the four and the eight so far. And there you go, I'm a racer. I, what can I say? I'm terribly slow. But that's the whole thing about this series. It's not how fast you are, it's not how amazing your bike is. Anyone can pitch up, take any bike along, and just have some fun. Well, as Get we proved, track. yeah, I mean, it's the first... It's the perfect stepping stone mm -hmm. to going racing in a big class. Now, Katula joined us on this last uh, event. Katula, you're also, if you don't mind me saying, pretty much of a beginner. Uh, well, tell me about your experience. It's not much, is it, in terms of racing? Um, well, previously I did race, but ages ago, probably about a good four years ago. Um, and then I haven't swung my leg over a superbike since then. Literally. So what sort of riding are you doing at the moment then? I'm um, riding enduro. Um, I'm trying to ride enduro, let's put it that way. And that's generally as just social Sunday riding, isn't it? It's social Sunday riding and it's completely different. I mean, up in mountains, not on tar and level surfaces at all. So, right, we've proved then that you don't need much riding or racing experience. The bike itself, now everyone imagines, my goodness me, you need a superbike, you need some kind of exotic piece of kit. What are we riding? We're riding a Suzuki GSR 750, which is? It is basically, it's a little commuting bike. Naked it's a commuter, naked yeah. commuting bike, not particularly sporty. And we have done precisely <laughs> nothing to it at all. Okay, we took off uh, indicators and number plate hanger and mirrors. We had to lock wires like the caliper bolts and the sump plug. But that is it. We didn't touch the suspension, even though it is adjustable. Katula. This race meeting we've just had, you obviously, you and Harry, went to have a little bit of practice on the Friday. It was a Saturday race, so it's the first time you'd ever thrown a leg over this bike. Tell me what you thought about it. Was it intimidating? No, it wasn't intimidating at all. Um, granted, you know, I was a bit apprehensive going into it, uh, literally, because it was the first time in ages I'd ridden on tar. Um, and by the second or third lap that I'd done on my practice, I felt quite confident with it. Not that it was particularly fast, <laughs> but it wasn't aggressive or unpleasant to ride or I didn't feel intimidated in any way. Um, it was very smooth, it was fun. And it's got a, well with it being a naked commuter, it's got quite high handlebars, it's got a really soft, um, comfortable seat yes. and lo loads of room for your uh, legs. Now, obviously you were starting from a base of zero. Be honest, that first day of uh, practice, your lap times, first time you're out, over three minutes, was it a lap? I think so. I, I wasn't, I, what, what, what was it? It was lap about time? four and a half minutes, <laughs> five. They needed a calendar. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the thing is, the nice thing about that bike is it encouraged you to get quicker, because I think by the, by the time that you'd finished the race, you were doing 230s. Not, so, not early 230s, I was probably about 234s. Delay, yeah, okay, so that's, you've knocked. 20 or 30 seconds off your lap time. The same thing with you, Ray. Okay, well, let's actually move on to race day. Uh, you have to get up remarkably early, horribly early. You got to be, what time are we at the track? I got to the track at about half past six and the temperature gauge in the car was reading one degree. <laughs> Lovely. I didn't feel like going out and practicing or doing anything like that. Well, then we were quite unfair to Cthulhu because they have a weird system at this race. Uh, where, depending on your qualifying time, the fastest person starts off last. So the slowest team starts off first, and knowing that Cthulhu was up against it, and it was freezing, brand new set of slicks on, we'll talk about the tyres later. <laughs> we sent Cthulhu out, we gave you a couple of laps to go out. How was that? A bit of pressure? Uh, granted, I think that was probably the scariest part of the whole weekend. Um, the track was freezing, and I was told, yeah, yeah, the tyres will be warm. I'm like, you don't understand. <laughs> I'm going to lose all of the heat in there. But um, it was fine. I obviously kept the bike upright. I think I did make the slowest of slowest times. But um, Which worked we, perfectly, because yes. me as team manager, I have to say, it was a strategic move. Yeah. Brilliant. It was uh, brilliant. Uh, because we were on pole position. We, we got were. the slowest time, we got pole position. And then we sent our quickest rider out, who was Donovan. Mm. Uh, and he managed to hold on to the lead for about 15 to 20 minutes. He was flying around there. I mean, and 
Donovan's not the smallest chap, but even he found that the suspension was not doing anything untoward. And he throws that bike around. I mean, he was doing two tens, wasn't he? His fastest, believe it or not, wrong way around, 209.1. Wow. You see? That's it, pretty damn and quick. And that's from a bog standard bike, which was probably crying itself to sleep that night. <laughs> you know, I'd done that race. That's true. Well, then, yeah. second session came, I went out, lost an hour. I think we finished, we were third at uh, the end of Donovan's session. I think we were fourth when I eventually came back in. Being arrogant, I didn't do any practice because I'm too lazy. So the first couple of laps is just about remembering that the gear... That's the one of the things we've done, the gearbox, we've turned it around. So to change, change yeah. you press down. Enjoyed my session. It's, it's, as we said, such a beautiful bike, such an easy bike to ride that um, it's, it's not that tiring unless you're really pushing on. So we come in, we do uh, changes, and then who was out third? Was that it was you, Harry? No, I went out third, yes. And I remember you coming in. A bit knackered compared to what you normally do. This is, he is ancient, <laughs> but it's quite fit. Younger than so, you. <laughs> doesn't say a lot, does it? You know what the thing is? It's, uh, I think the last race I did was the four hour in February, so it's just like a track time. You know, that's basically it. If I was on track every week, it would make a big yeah. difference. Well, I think it's worth hearing now actually what he said, because we, we managed to have a quick word with him before he, while he came off the bike. So there you go, my first session done. I'm in one piece, and so is the bike. It's amazing. Endurance racing isn't a. Uh, it is well. It is about speed, but it's not a speed all at once. You've got to get into a rhythm. My first few laps, it felt really slow, but then you find yourself braking a bit later, accelerating harder out the corners, getting more lean angle in the corners, and it just feels more smooth. And you just, like I say, you get into a rhythm. I don't know where we're sitting. I don't know what my lap times were. Well, as you can see, everyone's always pumped full of adrenaline when they come off. Okay, running out of time a little bit. We are waffling on. Stay with us because after the break we've got more racing from Red Star.